Hey guys, Chimera45 here. Welcome back to part 17 of Let's Play Darksiders 2. Last time, we uh, did some stuff in the temple and went and talked to Miria. Uh, and I got a side quest, but I'm not gonna do that. I don't know why. I'm, I don't know what I'm doing right now. Um, checking the options for some reason. Just checking all of that kind of stuff, I guess. I don't know. I don't remember why I was checking that. Because I can adjust the volume pretty well in uh, Power Director. So yeah, we're headed off to the boss of this uh, dungeon. Uh, this was a boss I was really looking forward to fighting. Um, because I saw him a lot in the uh, in a lot of the trailers and all that for Darksiders too. Without further ado, let's get it over with. Big old guy just comes out of nowhere, puts together a huge body for himself. Construct Hulk. Alright, so what you gotta do is you gotta go around and you gotta pick up these bombs. It's kinda stupid to uh, use your aim, but you can just lock on and he'll throw and death will throw that. Uh, yeah, you gotta go around and pick up the, uh, the growth and throw it at him. I'm pretty sure when he does that slam attack, you gotta jump. Alright, and once it's on him, you can either shoot it with, uh, we gotta shoot it wait for it to go off. And then when it's down, you just come in and, uh, slash over his uh, bash his weak point for massive damage. But then, Way run because Hulk starts to smash. And whenever you get him down on a knee like that, uh, he sends up the old construct dudes to uh, install you. And of course, you can use the bombs against them and all that. But I just, I just like fucking them up with the weapons. Alright, Hulk, stop smashing. Drop them bombs for me. What are you doing? Why are you pausing? How long am I pausing? Okay. Like I said, I haven't recorded. I have that. I recorded this a while ago, so I completely forget what I was thinking throughout this entire recording. No, stop using aim. Just lock on with R2 or. I can't remember button controls unless I'm playing the damn game. Alright. And these guys make it pretty difficult to get to the heart. I guess that would, that's what you would call it. I've had enough hearts in Dark Siders. So, if you watched the last game, you obviously know Or if you played the last game, you obviously know what I'm talking about. If not, well, then you're missing out on a very good game. Yeah, when he does that smash, he just does jump. The shockwave will hurt him. There's some bombs. Oh no, oh, 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 right in the face. And it's kind of difficult to get to the bombs before he blows them up. Damn it. See, if I would stop, I would stop being so stupid and just lock on automatically. Yeah, so this, this isn't a necessarily. Oh, that was, that was lucky. That was lucky. Right there. He's not necessarily a tough boss, but if uh, you don't know what he's doing, obviously he will cause some minor difficulties. Okay, he's going to go smashing. Run. And uh, I got his health down a little bit below um, half. Damn, as soon as I picked it up, it blew up. That's the frustrating thing about this fight. Alright, there's some bombs right there. Come on, come on, get him. Yes, there we go, fine. Alright, get the health cushion. Now I just fuck up the heart again. Got my 
reform available. I'm not going to use that yet. I think I'll save that for later. Alright, what do you do? All of you just die. You're annoying and you don't even need to be around. Well, I'm right there, Dan. Fuck him up in the circle. Run, 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 roll, roll, get it, get it. Oh, damn. Got another one? Yes. Alright, now. Just fuck him up. There we go. Big old gate. I like these guys. They're pretty cool. Uh, there's a yeah. There's there's a little bit of a delay right there. Um, I had to pause the video for a little bit. So uh, sorry about that. But let's keep going and see what the big old gate has to say. These guys are so cool. I don't know what it is about them, but I just like them. Auto saving. That's always a good sign. We got four chests to collect. Four chests. Which I think we earned after fighting that dude. That one just has some gold. This one has gold and some health po and a health potion and a talisman. I think I equipped that one. And then we got two more chests over here. This one has something good in it that I equipped. And this one has health potions and a weapon? Yes, spectral claws. I don't think I equipped them. I think I just, uh, oh yeah, I do equip them, I think. And luckily we don't need earth caller. Um, we have the key to wake him up. So uh let's see what uh let's see what he has to say. I'm sure he has some wise words of wisdom for us. <laughs> or not. My stone aches. You may ache, Warden, but you're not corrupted. Not yet. Corrupted. Then it was not a dream. The Makers have need of me. The Makers say that you can reach the Foundry, and that a Guardian lies within. The Foundry, yes. It is where I was cast. But it was lost. And now, you will need my help. Yes, I will. Alright, me playing. What are you doing? Alright. Corruption spreads across your realm, and you slumber. Stone is heavy. It is easier to rest. I'm sure. In my dreams, I can move again. In my dreams, I am flesh. I can understand that. This place, what was it? I cannot tell you. It's on the tip of my tongue. My tongue seems to be elsewhere. Will you help me, old one? Yes. All right, jumping on him. Let's go. Shall we? Hold on, little one. I had to pause the video and do some stuff real quick while that cutscene was going on, so sorry if uh, the um, narration is a little off now compared to some of the stuff, but I, I'll be able to, I think I can get In it good. In my slumber, I have felt the Guardian reaching to my dreams. He is the strongest of us all, but in his heart, there is a hunger. 
the Guardian was built to destroy. He has much in common with corruption. You must speak with Adar and make your peace before we cross over. There may be no crossing back. Oh, that's never a good uh, thing to, for a big old guy like him to say. Alright, let's go back into Stonefather's Vale. Actually, we're not going there. We're leaving there. And we're headed back to Tristone to talk to Adard. Because uh, apparently he's been lying to us a little bit. Foundry isn't as safe as he says. <sighs> but the Guardian, man. Guardian. He's so big. He's so big. Shadow of the Colossus big. It's not even funny. Alright, so yeah, I really don't know what to say now. Um, what am I doing? Why did I stop? What am I doing? Come on, there we go. It, it, it's kind of stupid that the damage doesn't stay. You know what I mean? Like, you shoot something, yeah, it has a little bit of damage, but then it just, like, regrows. Unless all this stuff is alive and heals very rapidly, I don't really see how that works. <laughs> when my friend was over, I finally, he finally came over to see this game. Uh, he kept thinking that uh, dust was an artifact. It's pretty funny. I restored your forge and brought life to stone. But am I any closer to the tree? Tell me now, old one, or you may never get the chance. I hear the foundry is dangerous. As is the tree, horseman, and the entire forest. That is why you must awaken the Guardian. But have you asked yourself, why seek the tree? The tree of life is where I will find my brother's absolution. The tree of life is a gateway. From it, one may travel to places undreamed of, whether a world of oceans and forests or ice. All right, this or video is about to night, end. The I don't mean to talk over him, there. but I'll see it you guys may next time. Different, yet it is the same where we will tree head to the foundry. Connect all the realms. The tree of life is not where journeys end, but where good place to end it. Bye.